I did not leave Purple Fall in, for, in, for him to access. I did not leave Purple Fall for him to reach and get it. I did not leave Purple Fall in a drip. There was nothing like that, even though Dr. Schaefer, during the trial, said that he could have gotten up and used a roller and opened it up and somebody said he could have reached up and find it. I left nothing such, no such item in his reach. Um, it is, he was not on a propofol infusion or a drip. Not at all. Absolutely zilch. But if you're saying you didn't leave propofol within his reach, how long were you gone for that he was somehow able to go somewhere in his room, according to your defense, find propofol, get it injectable and inject it into himself. Well, basically, when I left Michael, there was no further requirement for me to monitor Michael. There is no re monitoring requirement for a patient who does not have heart failure or cardiomyopathy or some other condition where they have fluid retention, even renal failure, that requires monitoring when you're on a normal saline drip, which is just plain salt water. So you if, continue to maintain you if, did not give Michael Jackson propofol on the day he died? I did not give Michael Jackson a propofol drip. Around 10.40 that day, after he really begged and, and, and cried, and he looked so... It was such a painful condition to see this man that was about to lose his entire potential, his fortune and empire. I agreed that I gave him a 25 milligram slow injection. That was it. You know, he, I was not even expected to give him sedation, but he got. He, he was sedated. He went to sleep, and I watched him. I sat there for at least 30 minutes. I was able to speak on the phone, accept calls. He was fine. Everything was great. When I left his bedside, I was absolutely comfortable that propofol was no longer a factor. Done. We, we have to take a break. I did not go outside of the of the of the master suite. The master suite is subdivided. It has a foyer, it has a bedroom, then it has a, a sitting area in the in the bedroom. The adjacent room is a dressing suite. Then it goes into the vanity and the toilet and bath, which is further down the road. You know. I wanted this man to sleep, and if once I was comfortable and I moved away from his bedside to use the bathroom, etc., yes, I stayed in the adjacent um, chamber, and I used the phone, etc., etc., but I was not worried about him. Actually, I, had, I was already packed and ready to go home. But again, I you're should. using that word sleep, and again, propofol doesn't make somebody sleep. So I know you, were giving, you say you were trying to reduce the amount well, you were giving him over time, let's, but... Let's, let's change it, and let's call it minimal sedation.